Hello viewers, how you doing out there? I hope you are doing great. My name is Rafi Yaku from Exec Graphics and Multimedia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to design a certificate in Corel. In this tutorial, I'm using Corel X5. So let's get the tutorial started. Alright? The first thing you have to do is to create a new document and this certificate is going to be in A4 size. Go to File. Where you click on File, select New. The dialog box pops up like this. Then you name your design. Certificates, Design, Templates. All right. So like I said earlier, we are selecting A4 as our size. Then the color should be CMYK. Then the resolution should be 300. Once you are done, then make sure that your paper orientation is landscape. Then once you are done, then you click OK. All right, viewers. The next step to take now is to create a page border. Go to your toolbar. Double click the rectangle, the page border will be automatically updated. The next thing to do now is to start to sketch our design. So, what I'm using now is what we call pen tools. Go to free hand tools, click it down, and select pen tools. Alright, when you select pen tools, then start your sketch. Right. Then press shift key for a straight perfect line then double click and cut it out all right the next thing i'm going to do is to sketch another shape sorry for z Back to the pen tools. Right. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do now is to. sketch another shape okay go back to your pen tools start from here okay double click and accept it that way okay the next thing i'm going to do is to sketch another shape Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is to sketch another shape as well. Start from this place. Double click to accept it. Right now, right click on it, go to order to back of layer. Alright, the next thing I need here is another overlay shape. Go back to your pen tools. Make sure it's close like this. Double click, 
close the part. Okay. Now, another thing I'm going to do is to apply my smart food tools. Go to your smart food tools at the uh, tools bar. Click on it. Then you start to apply it one after the other. Okay. Here is my smart food tools. I start to apply it like this. Put it here, here, and here, here also. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do now is that this particular place, I'm going to wet it together. Click on this spot, shift key this place shift key shift key then go to the menu bar and click on wedge all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take away all the outline then right click on it and choose delete oh sorry press ctrl z to take it back I light everything like this. Then go to your color palette. Right click this particular place. You take away all the outline color. Okay. Go back to your toolbar. Double click the rectangle to get your page border back. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do now is to apply color. Okay. Go back to your pick tools. I'm starting from. Now I'm starting from the top. Right click on this primary blue and choose another blue color. Okay. Click on this particular place. This particular place I'm using gold. So if you are not yet know how you can feel a realistic gold in Core X3, X4, X5, or X6, please check the video on my channel. I've made a video on how you can get a realistic gold. Corel draw. So now, the, the next step to take is to go to click on your fill, then select fountain fill. Having select fountain fill, come to the preset here and look for cylinder gold 2. Okay, no, cylinder gold 3. Having select cylinder go three, then you can change your color as well. I'm changing all the whites to thick yellow. Okay. Once you are done, then you click OK. All right. So now I need all this color at the top down below here what am i going to do next is that i'll go back to my view fountain view okay i need it here view fountain view then the same procedure preset cylinder go three then i'll turn everything to my previous selected color. Okay. I also need it here. Fill. Fountain fill. Then go to your presets. Select cylinder gold three, then convert all the color to your personal color. Once you are done, you click OK. All right, so the next thing now I need this particular thick blue, 
So how you will I get it? Click on the shape. Go back to my low here and select it. Click on this one also. Click it down here and select color as well. So at this place, I need to blend something here. Click on that place, shift E, and click on this tiny one, and uh, choose wedge. Oh, sorry, mistake. Press Ctrl Z to undo. I need this one. No. Shift key is this, and choose wedge. Ctrl Z. 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 Okay, go back to view, fountain view, reset, cylinder, good. Go three, then do your normal setting the way you did it initially. Then you click OK. Now everything has been balanced and set. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring in my stock photo. I'm going to add a pattern and I'm going to add a certificate badge so you come to this come to your menu bar here click on import or you press ctrl high on your keyboard then look for where you save your file okay i need png pattern okay import drag it down All right so the next thing I'm going to do is that I want to I will power clip it inside all you have to do is go to effects or arrange effect then look for power clip place inside container something like this then having done that you edit your power clip right click on it and choose edit content next click on the up uh, on the pattern then position it where you want it to be then right click again click on finish editing this level all right so the next thing i'm bringing here now is my certificate batch okay click on imports icon then bring in my batch right placing it here Right. I'm leaving it that place. Another thing I want to do is uh, to get a, a signature shape. Shift key, then double click to accept it. Then go to your menu bar, increase the line width. Then come to the color and right click it and choose white. This is where the signature is going to be. Press Ctrl Z 
Oh ja, Keyboard. Then press Ctrl V to duplicate and take the shape to this place. Right? So this is the first part of our certificate in Corel Draw. So I hope you learn one or two things in, in this tutorial. Hope to see you in the second part soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.